Greetings, my name is Elias Vick and welcome to the channel. Here are my top 5 tips and tricks in 3D Studio Max. Key bindings. Yes, key bindings are really, really important when it comes to modeling software, just because it will save a lot of time. If you're working on a model and constantly have to go through drop down menus to try and find the correct modifiers that you're looking for, then you will lose a lot of productive time that you could have spent elsewhere. So please go ahead and create your own key bindings. I also suggest that you create a cheat sheet documentation for yourself or find an existing one online with standard key bindings. Here is my very own ugly cheat sheet documentation. It does however help me out if I forget some key bindings or keyboard shortcut that I actually have bound. I personally have 47 plus custom key bindings when modeling. So trust me, you will save a lot of time using key bindings. In order to customize your keyboard shortcuts or key bindings, go ahead and press customize in the toolbar menu then customize user interface, and in here you can customize your key bindings. Make sure to save them after you made changes. This should be rather basic, but I thought of covering it for those who missed it. In the toolbar menu under Customize, Preferences, General, make sure to bump up the Scene Undo. I have mine set to 300, which means 3D Studio Max will save a history of 300 undos. In other words, I can use Ctrl Z on the keyboard to undo 300 things before the software stops me. If you're creating a default scene or a common scene which is made for rendering products or actually any model for that matter, make sure to have multiple static cameras in multiple places of your scene. This will allow you to always have a centered image of your model. A great way to keep everything organized is to name your cameras to something appropriately because you can then access them from the viewport text in the top left corner called Perspective, Cameras and then select the camera you want to mount. When you're working with colors in 3D Studio Max you may notice that they aren't looking the same as they do in Photoshop. This is because 3D Studio Max has a gamma correction and loot preferences set to their own standard value. Now I'm not going to go into detail about what this is since it's actually quite a large topic to talk about, but I'm going to tell you that you need to do some calculations in order to get the correct Photoshop value from Photoshop to 3D Studio Max, or alternatively you can turn off the gamma, which I do not recommend. There will be a link in the description to both the gamma and loot preferences, and also to the mathematical calculation for finding the correct color value. Save, yes, that's it. Save your project often and make sure to have multiple copies if you're working on a larger project. 3D Studio Max, as with all software, can actually crash without you being prepared for it. Therefore, make sure to save because you really don't want to do all of your work over and over again. So please, whatever you do, save your projects often. I hope that some of these tips and tricks were helpful. Have a great day and I'll see you real soon.